Aquarius. Happy Saturday. I hope all is well with you. Let's get you a reading. Messages for Aquarius. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to be aware of? Let's go straight into your reading. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. And we have the judgment. The sun card, the justice, the emperor. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, specifically a cancer. Doesn't have to be just a cancer though. Pisces, Scorpio, five of wands. Um, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Strong Scorpio. Someone around you could be feeling like you're too emotionally sound for them. Like, this is someone who may feel like they're out of their depth where it comes to you. You could be somebody who is very emotionally grounded. You could have definitely have done a lot of work on yourself emotionally. Maybe you've done a lot of healing. Um, something about you being very, very... Um, your energy is coming across very clean and very pure. Kind of like water that is very clean. You know, you go to some water, rivers, lakes, wherever, and you see that, obviously, it's... You can't see through it, but then there's places like... Mauritius where you can see through the water it's clean there's something about your energy that is very clean that's probably a really poor example to use but there's something about water that could be very significant and there's something about you that is very clear and clean you definitely could be very up on your spiritual hygiene you could definitely be a person who is up on their healing like you put a conscious effort or you've put a lot of effort into healing the emotional part of yourself there's a lot of emotional intelligence that i'm seeing in you aquarius and um you could have attracted somebody who is not in that space the page of cups in the reverse. This could be somebody who's emotionally stunted, somebody who could be avoiding some sort of healing work as well. And this could be somebody who's kind of looking at you and making a judgment that this person may be too advanced for me, or this person could be too evolved for me, for me. whether that's spiritually, whether you are just emotionally more intelligent than someone else. Um, this is somebody who I feel like desires you, but feels like they're not ready for you. Your energy is very bright to this person. This person is very attracted to you. Very, very attracted to your aura. Again, I'm going back to that clean energy. Very attracted to your spirit. Like, your light is very bright to this person. And this could be somebody who is feeling like, in order to be fair to you and for them, that they need to maybe make a decision to go and grow experience life um and step into their power too i do feel like you could be dealing with a masculine flip it if you need to but i feel like i could be talking to a feminine and there's a masculine who you could be um dealing with who's feeling this way You and this person could have had a lot of argue, arguing, especially if this is someone who you were dealing with, like you could have been involved with this person romantically. What I'm looking at here, this 
could be a person who you've outgrown or one person has been consciously doing intensive work on being a better person, grounding themselves, being emotionally sound, working on their mental health. A lot of you could be going to therapy or you've put some sort of energy, time, work into seeing that you are very emotionally grounded and it's sticking out like a sore thumb to someone because it's almost like the energy of I know that I'm not there yet like I know that I haven't even begun begun to be there I don't know if somebody's avoiding some sort of healing the four of wands ace of swords and the queen of pentacles somebody views you as very clean you've got it together something about holistically you've got it together somebody really views you as someone who is more advanced than them but i'm really getting more more so of a spiritual vibe it could be money wise it could be achievement wise too but that queen of pentacles being there and they just feel like they're emotionally not there this could be somebody who's gone through some sort of trauma or you could share for instance, I'm getting that too with that six of cups in the reverse. That's come to me too. You could have come from very similar paths. For instance, when you met this person, maybe you had something in common, some sort of trauma. Maybe you grew up from, maybe you had tumultuous childhoods. Maybe there was abuse involved. Maybe um, you didn't have the best start. You wasn't given the best cards. Pardon the pun. You weren't given the best cards to begin with. And you could have definitely have turned that into lemons into lemonade lemons into champagne you've you've made the impossible possible and someone else hasn't quite done that or hasn't quite been up to the challenge of taking it on in the way you have and it's like you're here and someone else is not there you know something like that but you started off the same you came from the same place but two people are not now in the same place hope that makes sense five of pentacles somebody feels like energetically you are leaving them behind but the thing is they've got the key i like this depiction of the five of pentacles because there's a door and there's someone who is outside the door down and out head in their legs crouching down hovering over but leaning right up against that door is a big old there's a big um keyhole in the door and there's a big old key that they could grab to get let themselves out of that door it's a choice and i feel like i'm talking to an aquarius who's made the choice but someone else hasn't followed through with that with you Three of swords somebody hasn't done some sort of childhood healing the knight of swords they've been running away from the healing that's that's what this is this is somebody who's been an avoidant the hierophant they've been running away from their purpose so in effect running away from your healing is running away from living in your higher self living in your truth living in your purpose because you can't fully live in your purpose if you're still carrying the baggage of pain carrying the baggage of um avoiding your healing that in itself is tiring that in itself takes up room in your life you know and somebody has avoided healing queen of swords in the reverse somebody could also feel that you're angry angry with them for not being able to do what you've done or for looking at them as someone who hasn't been able to somebody could have broke a promise to you or there could have been some sort of unspoken knowing between the two of you that you would meet in the same place Wh whatever was happening in the middle the lovers in the reverse whatever was happening in the middle between you and this person it's like there was an unspoken contract an unspoken thing a vibe where you both had a agreement so to speak that you would meet in the middle they will meet you there 
I don't know if that makes sense. That makes sense to someone because it's coming to me. And somebody feels like you may be frustrated or you may just feel frustrated that somebody hasn't kind of met you where you are. With the five of wands, yeah. There's a lot of conflict here. You could definitely be going at it with someone or you could have in the past. With the high priestess in the reverse because somebody isn't... They're not showing up, like... The Three of Cups. The Hierophant and the Temperance. Somebody could also be realising that they're around the wrong people and they want to meet a different group of people, whether this is you or this person. Something about soul tribe energy, something about changing who you're around. This could be you, definitely, actually. This could be you that you are aligning with a different lifestyle, a different way of being. You're seeing things different because of this work that you've put into yourself. And in effect, your friendship groups and the groups around you are changing. Things are being shuffled, shuffled around for you. Four of Cups in the reverse. I don't know if you just feel like you're outgrowing a lot right now or you're just outgrowing things that you used to do, things that you used to be interested in. And it's putting you on the path of something that is more in your purpose, aligned with you. There's some sort of alignment that you're going through. Magician card. Someone could also be ma manifesting you, wanting to connect with you. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune. The moon in the reverse. If you have been kind of like, whether this is subconsciously or consciously waiting for somebody to catch up with you or waiting for somebody to meet you where you was. Um, this could definitely be someone who you was partnered up with and you've, you've just gone so far that it's almost looking like, why am I still trying to push for something or someone to do the work? It's like the energy of, I can't do the work for them. I want them to see that they can reach their fullest potential. I want them to see that there's another life out there that they could be experiencing. I want them to see that they can ascend and grow and find a backbone to kind of like do better okay for the relationship for them for both i feel like it's both i feel like it's on a soul level i feel like it's on an independent level and i do feel like it's as a couple as well i feel like there's a mismatch and there's something about if you are waiting on someone to kind of see their full potential, reach their full potential, this could also be somebody who's been very, very codependent on you and you could be removing that assistance from them, whether this is just for your energy or money, they felt safe around you because you were the more responsible one or you were the one that was, you know, doing the healing, but they can't ride off the back of your healing. It, it has to take place on an individual soul level too. It doesn't work that one person does the healing and then someone else can just jump on their back or piggyback or hang off their coattail and expect that good, good energy to rub off on them. It doesn't work that way. You as an individual on a soul level need to be coming to the party, working on you too, so we can come together and then so forth. We can gel accordingly. But... This is a one-sided situation where one person is ascending, one person is seeing parts of themselves that are needing to heal and you're definitely doing that. I'm talking to someone who is well on your way to being a better person, living a different type of life, mixing with different people. I feel like you are being led 
at this time to some sort of purpose calling you could definitely feel very led or drawn to do something specific that is going to be very beneficial for not only um other people you could be a leader a speaker something that you're going to be doing is going to be very beneficial to other people but for you and your growth and it's a win-win situation when you find a purpose that not only helps you with your ongoing journey it helps others like it's a win-win situation with the temperance card. So a lot of you are definitely going to be stepping into some sort of purpose and someone is going to get left behind and someone knows it too. Because you've got someone here who is feeling as though they can no longer piggyback or feeling as though they can no longer avoid the inevitable because take you away which is who they were kind of riding off of and you know hoping that your healing will be the best for both of us type of energy that's no longer going to be the case when you're disconnected from this person because you're no longer going to be there and if you were waiting on somebody to catch up to you or meet you where you was or you were trying, you saw the potential in an individual to be this emperor person for you, to be this counterpart, to be this strong person that could bounce off of you to meet you where you was, um, to join forces and be very strong as a couple. You're no longer going to be waiting on that change to happen because you're going to realize that that is taking up too much room, energy, time, space, and you will choose to move away and align to something that is better. I do see a potential for a new partnership here with an emperor type of energy, somebody who is more ascended, somebody who has who has been open to experiencing and being open minded as to the different you know, the essence of life, if you like. And you've got someone here with the Knight of Wands in the reverse that will continue to be unstable if they don't do the work for them. I feel like you're going to decide to hold back from someone and no longer hand, if you were helping someone or allowing somebody or excusing something here, a behavior, a person, hoping that one day okay, I'll do it for them just this once, or they can stay around just for a little bit longer, maybe they just need a little bit more time, you're going to stop all of those excuses that you've been given for an individual, because you're going to find that there's no longer room on the bus to take someone who isn't doing it for themselves too, because it's dead weight, isn't it? And I just feel you are going to be moving into an energy of really holding your own where it comes to your own individual purpose and your growth this is actually a really beautiful energy we can't do it for others we have to do it for ourselves. we can't say okay yeah i am healing i'm doing all this work um it would be nice if you could join me come on come over here and share mine it doesn't work that way does it you know we know it doesn't work that way People have to want to change. People have to want to want better. People have to want to do the work. People have to want to provide themselves with um, healing to make them emotionally intelligent, to heal trauma, to let go of baggage, to tackle heartbreak, pain head on. People need to want to do that. We cannot do it for them. And this is like that type of situation. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I see things going very, very well for you. It's like you've you're bang on with the combination or some sort of some sort of um I don't want to say a cheat code to life because I don't want to downplay this, but that's kind of what it's giving. Like you've worked out the variable. that is conducive to a really prosperous and good life and you will leave someone behind someone who's been holding on to your energy or not changing yeah someone's very worried about where you're about to go because they feel like they are going to be left behind and it's almost like the point of no return with the three of cups in the reverse you are changing at a very rapid rate for someone and somebody just feels like you are becoming alien to them you 
you are becoming someone who they they no longer relate to you're becoming someone who they feel is so far from who they are because of this work that you're doing on yourself and it worries and scares this person as to where you're going because this is somebody who hasn't been ready to take on the challenge for themselves the sun they know they need to make changes with the world they know that they need to close out past things cycles tackle things head on in their life this could be a leo and with the page of swords they look at it and I feel like to some degree they look at you as someone who has successfully done this and it makes them want to change with the Three of Swords. The Nine of Cups. But then they probably tell themselves that they're happy with how they are doing whatever. This is somebody who's very comfortable but I do feel like there was an element of comfortability that they had with you and that's no longer going to be present. So it's almost like forcing somebody to discover self with the hermit energy. Someone will definitely grow up in this process. So if you've been dealing with somebody who was slow, slow on the uptake to kind of like do their own thing or to grow for them or to, you know, get it together with the strength card, someone has to hold it together now because you're no lo longer going to be there with the strength card could be a leo yeah definitely could be a leo with the six of wands someone's gonna watch you have a lot of success somebody could even be watching you partner up with someone new who is a power and a force by themselves they've done the soul work they're coming to the party bringing something they're not coming to the party piggybacking or coming off of you if that makes sense and someone's it's going to kind of give someone the incentive so if this if anything's going to come of this situation that you've been dealing with it's the fact that you're going to show someone what happens when you do the work that you've done what aligns with you when you make certain things happen for yourself it's almost like the energy of look what i did but indirectly because this person will keep an eye on you. Yeah, somebody feel, somebody realizes that they will not have this abundant future if they do not get realistic about what they need to look at in their life. This is someone has is having a they're having a realization here with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, and I feel like it's because of you disconnecting because we did have the Queen of Cups in the upright come out first something about you withdrawing your care your patience your patience with a person i feel like this is patience is going to be very fundamental to them actually picking themselves up and doing something for themselves i feel like somebody's been way too codependent on you aquarius I'm going to leave you there. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, sending you love and light. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.